At this point, we um, created our lake, what we're going to use. I like how the mountains on the back look. Um, what I want to do, it is imported the one mountain that um, we're creating in a world machine and apply some with eroded and snow coverage so it will look kind of more interesting and see how we can do this. Um, right here I have a world machine that I already pre-created one mountain and if you're interested in the tutorial how I created this I recommend for you to go visit Geeker Play website and right here in tutorials you can go to world machine tutorial and in the sessions of exploring world machine you can go and preview um, view the tutorials how it was done so if you use the world machine you can use this um, map if you don't have it, the world machine I will have the export terrain available for you if you're purchasing uh, the set of tutorials so you can use them in your project overall this is a mountain was um, the snow mountain was created and one thing you need modified from this it is inside when you have it output on your high field go inside and switch from the T format to the Turgen format so this is all what you need to do and this is actually much easier to work with because on this case um, it will supply full um, size and height and everything so when you modify this next you can go inside and by the way right here is I'm going with only 2048 by 2048 plus one resolution so it's not very high because I'm going to place far away and you notice right here it's eight kilometers by eight kilometers so that information will be inside the when I create it. When you're done, you can go build world and export it. So I already did this to save some time. And we'll just go import here to do this. We'll go in terrains. And I'm going to add terrain and select high field load file. So right here I have it one my TRR extension for the terrain. So I'm going to open. And you can notice it's already preloaded for me. It's position zero by zero, so it's above us. Notice right here we have a red icon, which tell me um, the object is above us, so we below object. Okay, I'm going to switch position and just probably push this far away. And because I remember it's eight kilometers by eight, so I'll probably just type eight kilometers here. You can see it's pushed it quite a bit away, and it's nicely place you know what maybe just uh, just bit more far around here the reasons why because I want this mountain kind of m integrated well together because some plants will go around you know what maybe even let's try put it nine yeah I think nine will work even better and let's skew this mountain a little bit more to the side because it would preview from camera right around here I want to create a nice hill and this mountain will go probably around that area so we'll go and set let's set about 150 I think this will probably work very well again we can always readjust but overall it's just a general position for the mountain again this is high field mountain that will go integrated and we'll go preview see what's going on so far you can see already we have that nice mountain that kind of smooth because I don't want um, I want kind of wearing and we have this mountain with the snow on the back will be very good we have our general shape of the lake smooth nicely um, let's go ahead and add some layer of the water at this point just to see the position um, before I can move my mouse and can see my 39 meters right here so I need probably put water on minus 39 so kind of below one to do this we'll go to water and we'll just add lake and right here lake should be above us so we go look right maybe move it you can see the water way above us so I'm going to select lake and we'll go put it minus 39 so let's go ahead select again preview and I think 
let me see if the water will just about right you know maybe 39.5 so I can see a little bit of the ground again we'll go apply some displacement rocks to this and it should be very nice edge cutting right here and we'll have it plants on the back um, one thing if we apply rocks to this point what's happening it is will apply to the terrain before compute it will apply displacement but I want them work with materials I want to change a little bit materials on the rocks and for this one we actually need to put it inside the shaders so I'm going to create right here and I'm going to use a mask for them as example let me move out I'll go take just disable lake for now so I don't see the water so I'm going probably around uh, cover just only around this area where I need rocks so I don't need to put them all over places um, my mask is will be a simple shader we're going to simple save shader so let's go right click we'll go to shaders displacement and we'll just select a simple shape shader so we'll use before this and again this is will be my mask for me the next one I want to do it is going to again create shader displacement and we'll go select the fake stone I'm going to take for now just from here and reconnect and you'll notice we'll have the rocks now apply kind of like all over places Again, if we need it, we can change the color, so a little bit more preview on them, but you can see they applied. Now I want to select my shape one and repositioning switch. So let's go ahead, switch to 500. My 500, right here you can see how it's switching my um, position. Next, I want to bring closer to the camera because I want to cover just area right around here so we'll go to the our right and let's position you know what let me look so we're straight to the camera I'll just bring a bit closer okay so let's go ahead type minus 300 and you know what maybe even set to 500 okay and right here size in this case maybe we should put it a little bit 300 400 around this area I think it will work very well let's go set camera a little bit closer And you can see we have there some rocks applied. Okay, as well, let's take this one apply to mask. So we have our rocks set in specific just that area. Now I'm going to add a rock and just to test this, let's go ahead and pop up tallness to five and pop up density higher. So I just want to be sure that where's my rocks is covering and you can see I have a very nice cover on the rocks we did in some tutorial before we look a little bit more how to create on the rocks and we look on some of this function so I won't look too much in details at this point all what I'm going to do is just uh, um, change them to create a little bit more look um, pancake kind of effect okay and scale that five okay next I'm also going to add um, surface shader to this so we can go select new we'll go to create new and assign um, displacement this power fractal will work for this 
Okay, and to this point also I'm going to modify, let me close it, open the power fractal, the noise um, perlin will fine. We need to reduce scale into 50 on that one. How I said before, if you want, you can check the tutorials, um, previously see how it was modified and what was modified. I don't necessarily want to work on the colors right now. I will leave this as is till we continue working. And just go closer right there. Let's um, enable Blake and just click to preview, see what we have so far. Okay, right here we have it cover, we have it nice rocks. Closer, actually I do like how the colors even come up, they're coming up very naturally. Um, same as the color of the ground, it's give me this dirty kind of look. What I want to do is apply maybe a little bit patches of the green, some grasses and Next, I want to apply also the plants with the um, position, and I will have a two plants. So we'll start probably working. Um, let's working on materials. Maybe I'm, uh, working first on the mountain, to far away on these materials, and after work on a population with the instance with the grass and the trees as well. 